Good morning, everybody. Got my white drawing gloves on. They feel a little weird because um, I got new ones and they're slightly different brands and it's kind of weird. I also tried leaving this on because I noticed, so I usually I, I cut off the fingertips so I can have, you know, gripping and all that stuff. Um, but I've been leaving this on because I noticed that my nail often kind of drags onto the paper. Sort of the whole point of these is to, you know, just keep things smooth and such. Um, I'm going to draw a little walker piece here for you guys. Um, this is for some of the Kickstarter rewards that we've got going on right now um, for the After Realm number two. So um, uh, one of the reward tiers is a um, five by seven drawing of Walker or Dina. This paper is more for watercolor actually than um, kind of regular drawing, but I like it. I like the thickness of it and stuff. I'm just going to draw Walker hands in his pockets, jacket on. Maybe there'll be some rain in this one. Um, so with this new Kickstarter, it's a little worrying as far as, um, yeah, there's just a lot of uncertainties right now. Um, printers, not working, distribution systems, unclear. <laughs> um, with my Kickstarter, um, because I've always had a long working relationship with Image and within the direct market, I've had a certain audience that I've built over the years. I want to um, yeah, continue to work with Image, but also experiment with the new frontier of crowdfunding and such uh, and has worked out really well um, made sure I worked with image every step of the way so that I wasn't stepping on anybody's toes um, and now with the distribution system all kind of questionable it's just it's only a matter of time before we figure something out but in the meantime um, you guys will still get your comics no matter what happens, you'll get the digital version for sure on time. The book's already done. And all the printing stuff, we kind of have to see. I mean, we'll, we'll cross those bridges as we come to them. We'll uh, find solutions when we need to. Uh, but Image has been really good to me, so I want to stick with them. And also... Yeah, I just had a good working relationship with them. And then even looking at other solutions, I mean, right now, things are off everywhere. Like, there's no local printers working or anything. But again, I'm not too freaked out, really. Um, I do think these are all solutions that we'll, we'll come up with. I'm going to make the black background black here. I can tell you right now I'm working a little randomly on this. Like, I usually don't really, I usually start more with an outline of a face and doing some of these like shadows. Um, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Ask me why? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll be honest, you know, uh, with all this lockdown and insecurity about, you know, the future and stuff. I mean, I've been distracted <laughs> that's one word for it some days uh just kind of completely wiped out and you can't always tell when that's going to be or when it's going to happen um like i'll just 
just hit this wall suddenly. Some days I can tell right away. I wake up and I'm like, oh, today's just gonna suck, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, you gotta like take it pretty easy, as easy as you can on yourself during times like this. I'm um, not being too hard on myself. When I need to rest, I rest. Even if that rest means sleeping for two hours in the middle of the day. <laughs> I know not everybody's got that luxury. Even if you're stuck at home, if you've got kids and stuff, it's extra hard. If you're living with somebody, just remember you're in this together. Just put your ego aside for the other person. Is this worth fighting about? Is this worth being a moment of stress in our life right now? Probably not. You gotta let a lot of things go. For the sake of your own sanity. <laughs> I mean, Taki and I are kind of like that anyway. Um, you know, the world out there gives you enough BS. You don't need your partner giving you counterpoints or arguing with you about stuff. I will argue, but you know, make sure it's worth it. <laughs> You know what I mean. This brush I'm inking with, I'm sure people will ask in the comments. Um, it's the Karatuki brush. Um, K-U-R-E-T-A-K-E, -E, I believe is how it's spelled. Uh, I love it. I love that it is um, refillable. I love that I, I don't have to stop to, you know, refill it or to dip it into a well or whatever. Um, minor drawbacks, like it has a pr pretty predictable brush line, uh, meaning it's hard to get a variation out of it to give it a real kind of life, you know? So you have to learn how to do that otherwise. Every line looks the same. Shit. I think this might end up being a practice piece. <laughs> Supposed to be a reward incentive, but I gotta be honest. Uh, his arms came out too thin. There's some weird stuff on here. Nothing horrible, just little things that I'm not super happy with. So I'm gonna finish it. I'll probably give it away at some point or something. But uh, I'm operating a little subpar right now. I can tell. I just feel it. Um, but that's okay. You know, when you have days like that, you either just put the pen down and, and figure out how can I be productive with something else? Um, like my Kickstarter site, um, you know, I don't have a designer or anything. It's, it's basically just me and I've got some help. Um, but uh, it's more help on the fulfillment side. Um, but like the actual web page, the um, Kickstarter page, I look at other pages and I see how well designed they are. So um, I'm gonna spend some time today trying to wrap my head around that, seeing what kind of um, ideas I can quote borrow from others visually, because I'm not a natural designer. Um, but the point is, <laughs> sometimes when you're feeling like, oh man, I, I just can't, I'm not working well, I don't have the, the oomph there or whatever, um, the magic isn't working, etc. Uh, find something else you can be productive with. I mean, of course you can also just rest if that's what you need, but you know, we can't just rest every single time because otherwise it'll just be a cycle of sleeping and eating and sleeping and eating and that gets bad. Uh, so yeah, if you can't find yourself being artistically creative, 
Um, yeah, find something else that you can be productive in. So that's probably what I'm going to do after this, because this is okay. Yeah, the way the ear comes up against the line here, the back of his head, like that's just weird. Doesn't really work. I don't know if you hear that noise back there, it's my dog. Dog fry, just snoring away. I don't know why I'm filling in his tie here. I'm going to have to use a brush to fill in the back of this because it's just too much. Uh, but the Kickstarter is doing well. Um, I think we're past the halfway point on the second day. And that's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, just like the first issue, the second issue of uh, After Realm was 56 pages. So you will get a meal when you sit down with After Realm number two. Third issue, which is uh, mostly drawn, I'm, you know, adding to the story and changing some stuff around. Uh, pretty much finished. Um, that's also going to be 56 pages. I think they're all going to be 56 pages. Maybe as I catch up to myself, um, I'll bring it back down to like 48. But for now, I think uh, 56 is, is good. I mean, I still haven't had any space in issue one or two for like pinups, you know, um, there's a lot of artists out there I'd love to see their interpretations of. Um, and a buddy of mine, Matt Smith, has actually sent me stuff. You know, um, some sketches that he's done and I inked. and um, Lots of fun. Looks great, but I can't. I don't have space for it yet. So hopefully in future issues we can start showing off the work of others, people who I admire. turning out okay, right? You'd agree. Okay, that's okay, Mike. <laughs> pretty, pretty okay. I'm also working on something for DC right now. Um, not a big project, but kind of an important one, I think. It's, uh, it's just one page in a much larger book with a bunch of other creators. Um, so that's going to be fun, or it is fun. Wish I could show you, but uh, I'm just working on a layout for that today. Um, yeah, so this card will make a nice, nice thank you gift for somebody. Maybe one of you whose package got lost in um, the mail. Even though that first Kickstarter is, is all finished, um, you know, there's always, and I've been warned about this, there's always packages that just, they just get lost or they don't make it there for whatever reason. Um, so long after the campaign is done, sometimes you're still dealing with these little, little things.
I'll be right back. I gotta grab my ink. Oh, I have my ink bottle over here. But no. My cat knocked over all my pens. <laughs> If you have cats, I'm sure this has happened to you, and now I can't find the brush I usually use to fill in black with, but this one will do. This is a little small. I actually usually use this for inking, but I haven't in a long time just because dipping the brush and stuff just takes too long, you know? Um, it's just a cheap watercolor brush. I'll show you what kind of lines I can get out of it. So let's say if I was inking a face. I mean, look at that really fine brushwork. Problem is, I have to like keep dipping it. Yeah, anyway. Just show you a little something, something there. Boy, this is gonna take forever with this little brush. But you've seen it through this far. <sighs> the uh, Powers graphic novel, which we've been talking about a long time, <laughs> is uh, suffering a bit from all this stuff. You know, um, there's a ton of extras in the in the book, like a ton, almost as much as the material that we produced for the book itself, for the actual story. Um, so that's been taking a long time, and now that's been slowed down because, you know, people are locked in and trying not to die. But, um, you know, the hard part of that book is done. Now we have to kind of wait out some production stuff and, you know, distribution issues and all that. Again, I'm confident we're going to figure it out. I don't know what the comic book landscape is going to look like afterwards. Um, but we needed to change anyway. We needed to change our distribution system and all kinds of stuff. It sucks that it's going to be such a painful transition. A lot of my friends are retailers and they're just, you know, scared out of their minds. They're having trouble before. So I like the way this turned out. But like I said, I'm not 100% happy, so I'm not gonna use it for an incentive reward. I will instead just put it aside. Like I said, somebody got a late package or just to thank a retailer or a fan. There's always opportunities for these things to, to pop up. Little ways to give back. Because everything that I have is because of you guys. For the people buying my comics and books and supporting my Kickstarters and goofy ass ideas and this channel and stuff, you know. Um, everything I have is because of readers and retailers and, you know, all you cats out there. That's basically it. I could probably go ahead and just erase, but I don't want to take a chance and have it smear, so. Um, that's it for now. I hope you dig it. I'll uh, hopefully make some new videos soon. You take care.